We're not going to see the worst of it, but we're going to have multiple chances of seeing storms. The first of which gets going in the morning. In fact, prior to daybreak, we're going to be seeing scattered thunderstorms. Look at the coverage here as most of us will see something out of that first round of storms. And the good news is we're not anticipating that that first round is going to be strong or severe. Should be just some showers and thunderstorms, albeit with some downpours and gusty winds. Now the second round in the afternoon between three and seven, those could be potent, but they're not going to cover as much ground. In fact, there's a lot of us that are going to get through that second round with no activity at all. Nevertheless, it's a pretty short window by the time even before the sun goes down. We're done with the storms. The humidity starts decreasing. In fact, late tomorrow evening, we'll probably notice a difference with some drier air in here. So let's break it down. The first round 4 to 10 a.m. Everybody gets something as those move west to east. Multiple downpours and wind gusts again, not severe. Uh, we're expecting for that morning round. Difference in the afternoon, 3 to 7 p.m., just isolated spots. Most of us stay dry, but those winds could be up to 60 miles per hour, and there could be some hail to go along with it. And as Kim was mentioning, we still need the rain. The drought got worse. New drought monitor shows severe drought now into parts of Livingston County as well. Most of us under a moderate drought. 65 tonight for the overnight low. Highs tomorrow go to 85, but with that higher humidity, we've got heat index readings that could touch 90 degrees here in the metro zone, likely feeling like that downriver and pretty close in the city tomorrow as well. South zone heat index, a lot of 90s out there in Little Way County, upper 80s out here in Monroe County. West zone will see very similar numbers depending on what time those afternoon storms get fired up. Mid 80s to around 90 degrees is how it's going to feel tomorrow, despite what the thermometer says. And even though the temperature is pretty close to what we saw today, we will be seeing or at least feeling a little bit hotter. Here's the weekend 86 by Sunday, but without the humidity. So Father's Day is going to be warm, but not humid. And if you want it even cooler, uh, we've got you covered next week as we go back to the 70s on Tuesday and Wednesday.